Introducing first in the red corner, he weighs 170 pounds from Villa Park, Illinois. Please welcome Chris Ripke. His opponent in the blue corner. He weighs 170 pounds from Addison, Illinois. Please welcome Chris Hernandez. And here we go, Chris Ripke facing Chris Hernandez. Semi-final matchup here. The winner will proceed to the finals. Great takedown by Ripke. Yeah, Ripke in the red taped gloves, both wearing the same shorts, so they'd like to make it difficult for us, Mike. <laughs> and then Chris Hernandez in the black trunks with the blue tape around his gloves. I think, I think Ripke added me on Facebook, so I think I got him now. Okay. I, think I, I think I know which one's Ripke. I don't even need the glove color, Matt. All right. Well, he had a nice win in the first round of the tournament <laughs> with a guillotine choke in the second round against David Villarreal. So he is trying to work his way to the finals here with a win tonight, and he's doing well early in round one. Again, we have these two-minute rounds, so you really got to get to it here in these fights. And he did. He came out of the gate hot, got his top position. When you can get a takedown in a two-minute round, it is very valuable. The person who ends up on top is in a position to throw ground and pound, just like we're seeing from Chris Ripke. And let's say Chris Hernandez explodes back to his feet, is able to land something on the feet. It still might not be enough to take the round. We're seeing Chris Ripke go for an Ezekiel choke right now. That's very interesting from such a, uh, you know, somebody only having their second amateur right. fight. That is an advanced submission and a very, very, very effective one. Chris Ripke. Got swept here, great job by Hernandez. Yeah, Hernandez actually top. the beneficiary of someone dropping out. He actually lost in round one, getting another chance here tonight at the home bar in round two. And he's mounting some offense right now too. And he stands Ooh. up back to his feet, how about that? That was interesting. <laughs> it's all love here in the XFO, ladies and gentlemen. Let's touch hands before I kick you in the face. <laughs> Midway in the round, I dig it. Faking the right yeah, hand, like turns it. the corner very well on the double leg. You can see the wrestling experience there from Chris Ripke. Great job in this first round with two clutch takedowns. Yeah, definitely a round that should go to Ripke. Looking for his second win in the tournament, trying to get to the finals. We'll be right back here December 2nd at the home bar in Arlington Heights for the finals. Rise of the Gladiator 2 in association with UFC Gym. Make sure you're following the XFO on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at XFO MMA. Pictures, videos from these fights. Mike Finch is taking a picture right now. He's going to blast <laughs> out a gram or a Snapchat. I think that's what the kids say. Uh, Ready for round two between Hernandez and Ripke. And just from the looks of things, like you said, trying to catch such a, uh, a sort of advanced submission moving in Ezekiel Cho. Chris Ripke's 
ahead of the game, it looks like. No, it's an excellent choke. I mean, it's an excellent one that, you know, obviously the UFC gym coaches are teaching their students, and it's very effective in MMA. It's a great choke also because you don't have to lose your position when you go for the choke. If I'm in mount, I'm throwing punches, I go for an armbar, I might pull you on top of me and lose my mount position. But if I go for that Ezekiel choke and I lose it, I could still keep my position. Jives Ripsky. down in this double leg. Here he Look goes. Look at that. And then a little Driving trip. through. Man. And wow, he misses Whoa. it and ends up mounted. And then powers his way through that. Oh, my God. Ooh, he a big he right hand on the way out. out. He's going it. down. This is over. Oh, my God. Knocked wow. out. Christian Knocked him Hernandez. out with one right hand. And he says, what? He just looked at us like, shrugged his shoulders like a Jordan in the Blazers finals. I am My shocked goodness. at what I just saw. Now, he clipped him with that right hand as soon as they came up, and it looked like Chris Ripke didn't know where the hell he was. Well, he immediately pawed at his chin and then went down on the canvas. So I don't know if that was a broken jaw or something he Th lost that the would not shock what, but me. Neither of those things would shock see, me. See, there's, there's where he just went down and decided that he had enough. So, there, you know, Nick Sim has no choice but to wave off the fight there. 100%. Wow. But just shocking because he was doing such a great job. He was competing. He won the first round. But that's he, the way he, he it goes. Was, he was about <laughs> to get mounted. He did a great job exploding up with the underhook. And what Chris Hernandez did a great job doing is using that underhook to then throw his weight all into his power hand with one big hook. And he ended the fight with it. Miguel has the final decision. Hopefully we'll see Chris Ripke again, Mike. He's fun to watch. and uh, He was doing a lot of right things ladies tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 25 seconds into round number two for your winner by knockout, Chris Hernandez.